Hello and welcome back, or welcome, to Yamaha. Today we're going to play together another piano piece. And it would be great if you could join at home just like that. After already several minutes, you will be able to play, depending on your experiences, this short piano repertoire piece. Beyond learning to reproduce it, we'll explore a unique teaching feature of our Yamaha music education system. Next to the reproduction of written scores, we teach our students to create their own music through variation, improvisation, up to composition. We'll do that in just about 10 minutes together with you. I'll firstly play this piece for you as a model performance so we can get the image, the tempo and the character of this short repertoire piece. The title of the piece is called A Walk in the Park. Here we go. Now we have listened to it once and we will immediately start to play. You simply copy me and await my cue. Firstly, have a good sit down in front of your piano. Keep in mind that you, the distance from the piano is influenced by your elbow. Keep a close eye that there is still place for your elbow to move and that you're not blocked. Beyond, make sure your underarms are in line with the keys of the piano, right and left side. I'll play the first part of the melody for you, having put my thumb of the right hand on middle do or central C. I take a breath before starting and I'll play. Just copy me after my cue. Do so so, re so so, go. So, so, re, so, so, go. Right, just pay attention as we go through the total piece. You playing the start of the melody after my cue, and me playing the other parts. One, two, one, two, three, four. Having done that, we'll now take the continuation of the melody and the finalization of the melody. The start of the melody you can take yourself directly. I will especially cue you in for the new parts. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Re, so, so, re, mi, fa, so. Go. Si, so, la, si, do. Go. Whilst playing, feel your arm breathing the melody physically. As mentioned previously, piano playing is a bit like singing. One can't sing without breathing, can one? So before our final confirmation, I play the first part of the melody. You will add the continuation and the finalization of the right hand melody. For that, I will every time cue you in. Off we go. Re, so, so, re, mi, fa, so, go. Do, so. 
Si sol la si do yo Before completing the left hand accompaniment we'll take the whole piece now You will play the melody and I will play the accompaniment To feel when to start I play you a little intro There we go To finalize, I'll play you the left hand accompaniment, consisting of whole notes. Put your little finger of the left hand on the lower do or C. I play first and you play after my cue. When you play, I will play for you the right hand melody at the same time for your orientation. There we go. Do, so. So, do, go. Mi, mi, fa, so, do, go. In case you might have a record function on your piano, you can simply record the melody and play the accompaniment to it. Like that, you are somehow your own teacher. So now to master both hand playing, just copy me with both hands. We'll put an extra spotlight for you on my hands. And here we go. 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 As mentioned in the beginning, beyond learning to reproduce, we will now enter a unique teaching element of our Yamaha music education system. Next to reproduction of written scores, we like to enable our students step by step to create their own music through variation, improvisation, up to composition. And by the way, on the internet, just by checking Yamaha Junior Original Concert, you will be able to find loads of compositions of our Yamaha Music School students from all over the world. Those students are taught in exactly the similar way as we touch today. So let's discover this together now. You will play the beginning of the melody and up to you whether you play it with your right hand or with both hands. I will take the continuation and the finalization. I'll cue you in now. One, two, one, two, three, four. So following our imagination, we can change the image and the message of the piece just the way we like it. 
The same works for the beginning of the melody. I'll start and change the beginning. You continue playing the continuation and the finalization. Here we go. So like this, we can vary, we can change, we can improvise up to our own imagination. Before we split today, I'll share similar with the accompaniment. You play the right hand melody in its original form or with a variation. And I will change the left hand accompaniment to get for you a glimpse inside. For that, I change my left hand position and I put my thumb on the lower dough the lower C. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Mankind's imagination has no borders. Your imagination has no borders. So keep discovering this, at least next time here at this site. Or try it out online with one of our instructors and use an interactive offer on demand with one of our Yamaha Music Schools. Bye for now, and I hope you join again. Don't forget to keep watching Yamaha Junior Original Concert to discover what imagination, creativity and the inner will of human beings are able to provide. See you soon again at our site. Bye for now.